My name is Homera. I'm from Sardash in northwest Iran. I was born in 1989, two years after the chemical attack on Sardash during the Iraq-Iran war. My family has lost 11 members in the attack, and the rest are still suffering from psychological and health issues. I am a second generation survivor. Chemical weapons are weapons of mass destruction and their use is a violation of international law. Ever since the invention of weapons of mass destruction, states have been trying to stop the proliferation of these weapons and decrease or even completely eliminate the stockpiles. In today's political atmosphere and with fast developing technologies, arms control initiatives are under pressure. I believe if the world knows about what happened to the people of Sardesht and the, uh, realize the consequences of chemical attack, a disaster like this uh, uh, is more or less likely to happen. Uh, although uh, it has been more than 30 years since uh, the chemical attack on my city, the consequences are still present today. That's why I committed myself uh, to uh, raising awareness uh, and working to help the victims, but uh, uh, also to eliminate the use and the production of chemical weapons against civilians. Uh, and this is the reason why I, uh, attend, I am attending the uh, disarmament and non-proliferation of mass, uh, weapons of mass destruction training program on ESER Institute. As a Hague-based research center for European and international law, we use our research to generate new ideas to make people's lives better. In this training program that we co-organize with the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, we offer a comprehensive overview of non-proliferation and disarmament efforts. In class, participants discuss various issues with renowned experts, and they go on field visits. They visit a nuclear reactor and go to the OPCW headquarters and laboratory and equipment store where they learn more about how inspectors prepare to go on a field mission. I came to learn more about the international regulation, norms and laws, and engage in the discourse. With the knowledge I gain, my goal is raising awareness, find the ways to help victims, and most importantly, uh, to work with other professionals to make sure that doesn't happen again. My hope is that when they come here, they go back to their organizations and to their networks, and they go back far more informed and able to connect different issues. And my hope is that that will help them as they advance within their current career path, or if they even think about alternative career paths so that they can apply their experience in one area to perhaps another area. The training program is designed for professionals working for governments and national authorities. It is also for people working for NGOs, think tanks and research centers addressing the topic of weapons of mass destruction. From what we've been able to see over the last several years is that interest is actually gaining year after year. At a time where we still see very pressing challenges, where we've seen the erosion of certain norms around these kinds of weapons, that there have been challenges to the institutions and the legal regimes that uh, try to guide and constrain these kinds of weapons, we still see that there are people, young people and people who are more advanced in their career, that continue to be interested in learning more. What I really liked the most is that this program is a very practical and engaging program with lively discussions, uh, field trips and uh, simulation exercise that makes it really easier to uh, apply what you learn in your work. We were 40 professionals from all around the world working towards the same goal, disarmament and non-proliferation, and I hope one day we will succeed.